Hi, welcome back. Good to see you all again. Today I have with me Quail. Quail and I will tell you the story about a group of quarrelsome quails. That wasn't you, was it? No, of course not. <laughs> In this story, we'll be using some music to do quail songs. Uh, it's an old tale from Buddha, one of the Jataka tales that Buddha himself told as parables for teaching. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story of the quarrelsome quails. In the time when Lord Buddha lived, he was part of a monastery full of monks and nuns. And they used to fight among themselves quite often and not get along. So much so that one day, Lord Buddha himself said, well, I need to tell you all a story. And this is the story he told. Once in a past lifetime, Lord Buddha was a quail. Yes, a quail. Maybe you were an animal in a past life too. And he was king of the quails. And the quails lived in a beautiful mountainous area. It was full of all sorts of trees and bushes that provided them all wonderful foods to eat and bounteous crops and lots of places for nesting and taking dirt baths and water to drink. And they did quite well. And the flock was really large. And and they lived happily like that for many years until one day a hunter discovered this place full of quails and abundant quails and he came and he decided that he was going to catch some of the quails to eat and to sell at market and he was a very skilled hunter and he knew how to capture the quails because he knew how to make the whistle of a quail call a quail in distress and it sounded like this something like that <laughs> so he would make his quail call and the quails would think oh no somebody's in distress and they would come out and they would look around and at that moment he would throw his net out over all of the quails and capture them all up and tie it up and sling it over his shoulder and take it back to his family and to market. And this went on day after day. The quail hunter would come and do his quail call. And the quails would look out and they would come out of hiding and he would capture them in his net. And so many quail were lost that, that way that King Buddha the king of the quail had to come out and say and gather everybody and they had to have a meeting gathered everyone together and said well the hunter is fooling us and taking uh, away a lot of our family so we need to work together in order to not get caught so I have an idea and if we all work together we can escape from the hunter and so they listened and he said the next time that we're captured by the net, if we all poke our heads through the net and we can lift up and fly together and escape the hunter. And so very soon they had a chance to try it out because the hunter came back the next day and he did his call with his whistle. And they all came running out and sure enough, he threw the net over all of them. And the king of the quail gave his whistle and they knew it was time to all lift up together and fly away. And it worked. They flew up together as one and then they let the net go into some thorny bushes after they landed and they were able to escape. And the rest of the day, the hunter spent trying to remove his net from all those thorny bushes. And that happened the next day, 
and the day after that, and that went on for a long time with the quail outsmarting the hunter. Until the hunter came home one day and his wife was very concerned. She said, how are we going to eat? How are we gonna buy things? We're hungry, you haven't brought home any quail in a long time. And he said, I'm not concerned at all. Because quail are very quarrelsome creatures. And very soon, it won't take long, they will stop coordinating with each other. And they will stop cooperating with each other. And they will get in an argument, and then I'll get them. And you know what? He was right. Because soon after that, the quail were feeding on the ground and a one quail flew in and accidentally landed on the head of another quail. And that quail got so mad. What are you doing landing on my head? Well, I didn't mean to land on your head. And then one another quail said, I saw him land on your head and he did it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, you did. You're always doing things on purpose. You never watch where you're going. Another quail said, well, don't pick on him like that. And you know how it goes. And so they just started fighting and fighting. And then who came along? That's right. The hunter came along at that moment and did his whistle. And they went out to see what, was, what the whistle was for. And they all got caught. But since they were all in an argument, they didn't do as they had planned to cooperate with each other. They decided they would argue instead. And one said, I always do the work. I'm not gonna fly until I see you fly. Well, I feel like I'm doing all the work lifting the net, so I'm not gonna do any work until I see you fly. And so it went so that all of them were waiting for another one to fly off. And in that, yeah, the hunter caught them all and he took them. And so it happened that not all the quail were in an argument, one with the other. It was just the ones that were quarreling that got caught that day. And it's also all the ones who were quarreling who kept getting caught again. But there are always those also that were cooperating with each other and coordinating to escape the hunter together and to outsmart the hunter. And those lived long and went on to have big families. And that's the good news. And so Lord Buddha tells us that when we argue and don't cooperate is when times are dangerous and when things bad can happen to us. But when we work together and help each other then we are all much happier and live healthy, long lives. I hope you enjoyed today. My quail fell on the ground. Hold on. Oh, did you enjoy it too? You did. Good. We'll see you next time.